Indigenous Kaingut legend has it that Naipi, a woman sacrificed to the god boy, escaped with a lover in a canoe down the river. The angry gods lashed a canyon into the river, forming the waterfalls. The soul of the girl remained captive in a stone by the waterfall. The lover was transformed into a tree by the river. Iguazu, the big water. It's early February. We headed from Sao Paulo to Patagonia to arrive there before the fall. Iguazu is directly en route on the border of Brazil and Argentina. It's a beautiful, strong, powerful place full of energy and we admire the masses of water, just like this little bird does. But we shall not hide that this is not the full experience, because when the bird turns around, it sees this. What a wonderful world. <laughs> so cute. Quetches. And they're like, don't feed the quetches, don't feed the quetches, don't feed the quetches, but they're like, but they feed them around you. <laughs> they, feed them, they attack the food. I've, I've never seen these in my life before. Very cute. I have. Very cute, but also very <laughs> determined. We are Elena and Vincent. We have converted a 4x4 Springer van to be our home on wheels and embarked on a trip around the world. From Patagonia to Canada, over to Eastern Siberia, and back to Europe via Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan, and so much more. At least, that's the plan. And this is our diary pursuing the plan, with our experiences and observations from where we are. Hola, como va? Soy Daniela, y eh, estoy de vuelta a regreso a casa. Soy mochilera, y estos chicos me han me están llevando de vuelta desde Puerto Iguazú a El Dorado. Sí, muy bueno. buen viaje, muy buena aventura. Gracias. Muy buena aventura. We arrived at the camping. It's very romantic in nature, outside of civilization. You never know where van life will take you. A través del chico que está acá, yo juego mi cabeza, mi cabeza que River sale campeón el 2020. Dale, esto está filmado. Para Ariel, amargado. Hoy te visto con tus libros caminando, con tu carita de. Funny, definitely funny. Should we, um, should we go to this party again? I would go, get some Wi-Fi, get some snacks, talk to people. Snacks in Elena's case means chips, loads of chips. That's not true. I haven't been eating that many chips recently, have I? Oh, I have the rest of my burger that I didn't eat. Mmm, cold burger, vegan burger. This is our fridge. The guy at the border today got a bit confused with that, because he only opened it until here and he was like, what kind of thing is that? And I was like, the fridge is like, mmm. <laughs> Beyond Meat Burger. Good morning. I don't really know the configurations of this camera. This might be all white and blur. But this is an update because yesterday we entered Ruta 40, Ruta 40. And this is nice because now we are in the route that goes straight to Patagonia, to El Chalten, where we're going. And it's the kind of iconic, super scenic route of Argentina. And our, our first stop was in a little camping that is one hour away from Mendoza. That's where we are currently. Oh, it is all white. Let me, let me change something. Uh, randomly clicking buttons. Nope, that did not work. Let's try that. Uh, something changing, guys? Nope. Bye then. Oh, here comes Vincent. Maybe he can help me. Vincent? Hi. I'm clicking random buttons and I can't configure the camera to have a nice light. I mean, this is not bad, but the numbers are a bit too high, I feel. <laughs> okay, yeah. Is it good? <laughs> numbers are a bit too high. <laughs> like ISO 5000. <laughs> I was saying that we just entered Ruta 40. So we should do an update because now it really feels like we started 
the way, the straight way to go to El Chalten. Yeah, and also it feels like we started the trip really. It did, because we finally like rested a bit. We wanted to get here quickly, so we don't lose the timing of the weather. So now we're ready to continue driving. Yeah. Maybe a bit slower. Yeah, slower relaxed. and from Enjoying now on it will be about the experience. Mm -hmm. This was transferred now. Yeah. Now the travel starts. Now the trip really starts. I thought about not uh, shaving or shaving shaving here, shaving here anytime until we reach the probably the US border. I'm Tonight always telling him not to shave. I've never seen him ever different from this. I've never seen you with hair. And it's been two years. You will. So we will find out if that's suitable or not. It will be. Final words, otherwise we go on the road. Bye. In Mendoza we finally reached the Andes. We're planning to drive the Argentinian east side of the Andes down on the Ruta 40 to the Patagonian ice field and back up north on the west side of the Chilean Andes on the Carretera Austral in a few weeks from now. We were recommended a 60 km dead-end road detouring from the 40 into the high Andes. Oh and oh, was it worth it. We just spotted Lemus for the first time in this trip. <laughs> and we are excited. Hey boys. How's it going? Oh, baby. Baby llama. So graceful. This road climbs up to almost 4,000 meters and arrives at a beautiful laguna right next to Volcan Maipo. After days of driving through flat land, this is Frida's first chance to catch a breath of fresh, high alpine mountain air. It's like if we're on another planet. After 60 kilometers of shaky road at high altitude, Elena shares deep thoughts. It's a volcano. It's crazy. First time. Yes. Elegant. It's really small. Yes. Oh. That was quick. Bueno. That looks chill, my love. Like, like cinema in a cinema scope, and we have the prime. You know the only thing that's missing, my love? A sandwich. My lord requests. I deliver. Oh nine, it's spinach. Where's the second round? Now the Lord is serving the lady. <laughs> yep. We don't eat little guys. <laughs> <laughs> there is a very small bridge separating us from our camp for the night at the end of the road. The ranger said that it's probably gonna be okay, so. Careful, Jesus, Lord of Christ. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good job, little bridge. Did you get scared? A <laughs> little bit. Do you hear the woods? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I, I tried to test it first a bit and I was like, <laughs> okay. I'm cold, I'm very cold. Oh. I suffer. K 
came straight from the Brazilian jungle at yeah. Forst Iguazu. It's like 40 degrees, not 40, but like 30 degrees and 100% humidity. Yeah, and so it feels like here. entering a steam sauna. We had two ventilators blowing wind at us and we were both lying naked with no blanket, no cover, just dying. sweaty, dying. <laughs> no, actually one night you had to pour water on my back. Yeah. And then here's the far opposite because not only super cold and windy, but it's so dry that I like <laughs> I don't even know what to do in this weather anymore. <laughs> Drama queen. <laughs> I'm not complaining. And now, this is the very first night out of nowhere where it will be zero degrees. <laughs> Maybe even freezing. Oh my god. And I'm not sure if we have enough diesel in the tank to, to run the diesel heater. So we might rely on, on some... <laughs> on cuddling. Some cuddling. <laughs> Come, let's make something to eat. When you live in a small space, everything gets mixed up. So in this one jaw, we have toilet stuff, I feel like paper it's... stuff, <laughs> more toilet stuff, food. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's because we haven't we haven't really gotten into. There is no other way to organize that. Where do you want it? Like, we have to use this space. You know, we can't have all of that only for food. No, and sure. I don't have where to put my cute notebook. Yeah, but <laughs> by the way, there's an onion by my own notebook. Oh, cutting onions in such a small space. It's a new experience. <laughs> we're used to living in palaces. <laughs> this certainly is our palace now, and we're looking forward to our first night in the wild. And a cold night it is, as the lake is frozen early next morning. The first rays of sun put an open glow on Vulcano Maipo and are more than welcome to warm us up before we continue our drive back to Ruta 40 and down to Patagonia. But that's for the next episode. It's the first time I see that in my life. This water is complete. Oh my god, it's like boiling hot! In the next episode, we encounter a hot river, Helena takes a boiling hot bath, we have an icy breakfast and we hike on a glacier. Click subscribe and come follow along.